Kia ora. Thanks for clicking on my video. I just wanted to show you where I am today. I'm at the top of a big, big, big Rimu tree. It's about 800 years old. And I'm down on the west coast, south westland, south of Franz and Fox Glacier. So you might know where I am. These are southern Alps here. And in the foreground are some big, 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 big Rimu trees. Pretty much surrounded by Rimu trees. There's the odd uh, Matai, the odd Miro, and the odd Tortura tree. But predominantly Rimu. Now we've got tree fuchsia, amazing. It's our one of our only deciduous plants. This would be completely wiped out if it wasn't for the predator control that the Department of Conservation are doing down here. And um, I, yeah, I just want to show you a little bit about the epiphyte community that we have growing up in these beautiful trees. Here are kidney ferns. Now these kidney ferns can dry out com almost completely when there's low moisture content in the air and when there's a little bit of moisture they come out full force. Really beautiful, only one cell wall thick. Lots and lots and lots of mosses, orchids. There's a bamboo orchid. And um, yeah, this is broadleaf. Now this broadleaf is a plant that's eaten up by deer and possums down on the forest floor. But thanks to these big branches here and all this moss, it can hold the load of some pretty big plants. There's a meadow tree growing up in this podocarp, so Podocarp in a podocarp. That could be quite an old tree as well. Yeah, there's all sorts growing up here. It's sort of the final frontier, really, the epiphyte communities. Well, what we haven't discovered yet up above us and in the ocean. So it's neat to be up here with it all. Just look at that. New Zealand tree ferns. Pretty well known for our tree ferns in this part of the world. Yeah, there's a bit of an outlook. Anyway, I'm sort of new to this whole making videos thing, but keep tuned. I'll hope to show you some more interesting stuff in the future. Until then, get out there, see what nature has to offer. If you're in New Zealand, get out into the forest. There's nothing there that can sting you or bite you or hurt you in too bad a way. So I'll leave you with that. Take care.